Hi, welcome, Simon here, and hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be doing a screen replacement on an HP laptop. Okay, let's go ahead and turn on the computer. As you can see that the computer turns on, has a bit of a flicker, pixelated color, and right now it's just pure white. It stays all white, there's no other display on it. Um, hope you can see that the angle is kind of grayish, whitish. So that means the LCD screen is bad and I'll be replacing it with the new screen here. So let's go ahead and get started with it. Okay. First thing I like to do is to press and hold the power button until it shuts off. Okay, once that is done, the next step is to go ahead and get yourself a metal prying tool. And we need to pry open the bezel. So go ahead, get underneath the LCD screen. The bezel actually have the uh, adhesive tape on it. So they kind of glue together. So when you're trying to uh, get in between, you might want to kind of cut that adhesive tape as you get in between the, uh, <clears throat> the bezel. Kind of hard to show it to you but as you can see the little white stuff that is the uh, the adhesive double-sided tape There's going to be a lot more adhesive tape at the bottom part of it. So what I'm trying to uh, get in between is the there is the uh, the LCD I'm not sure if zoom in a little bit for you so those white stuff is the adhesive tape that is taping down the bezel right and then as I kind of go along it you want to go not expose the LCD come on focus not expose the uh, LCD board you want to go like on top of that black tape or the, the, the plastic okay and then from, from this angle, what you want to do is just kind of uh, uh, push back and then remove from that silver plastic here. So it's just an additional cover, cover that covers up the, uh, the plastic. So you're going to push it and get it out. Okay, once you've done with that process, we should be able to remove the screen. But what happened to that adhesive tape that is uh, supposed to be pulled out? I don't see it.
Okay, let's try to open up the... Uh, there's a screw here on the top right, so let's go ahead and remove that. Yeah, I figured that doesn't come off. Okay, let's see if this is the tape. Which they might have put it all the way on the wrong side of it. You're supposed to be on here. Typically, you're supposed to be have like a little pulley tape here to pull that adhesive tape so that the screen can just come right off. It looks like they put it on the other side of it at the very end you can't even get get in really okay so they actually put it on the other side of it like way to the way very closer to the right side of it so this is the tape so nothing to do with the screw so put the screw back <clears throat> why would they do something like that you know on all models that they have a little gap right here that gap is actually for the to expose the tape and the tape is exposed so that you can easily pull it and uh, people would know where to put it so anyway no big deal so just keep pulling this this double-sided adhesive tape okay there's one on the right here comes the left see that little black stuff right there I'm not sure if you can see it but let me zoom it all the way in so this one here it's actually a tape that is holding the LCD screen so you need to get like a tiny little tweezer get in there and I'm just turning in okay let's start pulling it out You see how my hand is holding the screen because um, what you don't want to do is when you're pulling that tape and it gets snuck, uh, stuck with the screen and when you pull it, you might yank that cable out. All right. So once you have pulled the both sides of the tape, uh, your LCD screen should just come right out. I'm going to tilt it towards yourself. Be very careful with the cable. Um, there's another tape that you need to peel so this is the one I'm gonna peel backwards okay and do not use the metal please do not use metal what you want to do is you're going to flip that little clipper here with the plastic prying tool or you can use your fingernail to do it if you want okay do not use the metal because the computer still have the battery in it and do not disconnect the battery so what happened is that um, if you use the metal you might short the motherboard okay and then just slide the cable away from your body so put it to that side and you can just remove the entire screen if you're not sure where to buy the screen from let's go ahead and check the model here it says B156 XTK02.0 what I'll do is I'll link them down in the description below where you can get them from either Amazon or eBay for this uh, replacement screen. Okay, so that is the old screen and here comes the new screen. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and stick it in. Okay, slide the cable back. This is a 40 pin connector, so slide it in. Once you have slid it in, what you want to do is uh, push it down. Okay, push that little click clicker, push it back down, and then tape it back. 
actually the computer still is on wow i did not shut down the computer i did not know the computer was on see you see how dangerous that was <clears throat> we're gonna press and hold the power button until the computer shuts off there you go all right the next step you definitely need to have the uh, double-sided tape i'll be using this this is a 5 mm meaning the five millimeter the, the width of the other uh, tape and i'll be taping it down the right way which i feel like this is the right way to do see how that little gap right there you're supposed to have that tape on that gap like such so that the next person who replaced the screen they know where to pull that tape from that's what the the thing is for Okay, let me cut it off. Do the same on this side. So I'll go ahead and do that. Okay, once the double-sided tape is taped onto the top, you can just peel this, um, this thing off. And what you want to do is just flip the screen. Okay, just flip the screen back on a position. And then you should be holding it down. Okay, and I'm just going to give it a little press and the next step is to slide this thing back so I like to work from the bottom part here first kind of, kind of uh, get, get it in there so kind of push it down okay if you need to just kind of get a plastic prying tool hide it And push this one in do not forget to peel this thing but I'm just gonna leave it like that for now push it in or well, maybe just peel it make sure you align the front webcam camera make sure that the circle is aligned in the center and then you're just gonna press it down let the clicker to click it back in and hold the screen together all right uh, let's go ahead and turn on the computer there you go you can see the hp screen it's loading up to windows 11 let me try not to show you the uh, the profile of the user there might be a name or a picture on it to hide it. all right there you go i'm just going to show you that screen uh, we have a display right beautiful this is not a touch screen so um, there you have it and hope it hope this video is helpful to you and if you do find the video is helpful please smash the like button for me I really appreciate it. and um, if you're not sure where to buy the screen from uh, please check the link down the description below I'll link it to either Amazon or eBay where you can find a replacement screen all right thanks for watching until next time bye now